That's who I am. Uh, also, as, as you heard, um, I have a little company called Crayon, and I was just doing a, a, an interview now, um, and, and one of the questions that was asked of me is, how am I different to the other people that stand on a stage and write books? And I guess one of the ways I'm different is that I think it's important that I should walk the talk. That's why I showed you the previous slide. I'm living the change. I am change. I am a part of the change. I believe that the only way that you will ever understand the change is if you experiment and experience the change yourself. You know, it's, it's everything from setting up a Google alert to blogging yourself. And if you don't blog, read a blog and get the newsletter. And if you don't, comment on a blog. You must experience this for yourself or you must surround yourself with people that understand this as well. But I think it's a very dangerous approach for you to delegate change. Change is too important to be delegated to another person or another team or another department. So that's my company and some of the clients uh, that we work with. And now you know who I am. Now you know who I am as an individual, as a person, as a corporate entity. Uh, let me tell you who I'm not. That is uh, the chief marketing officer of... No, uh, that, is, that is Herod the Great. Um, who's that? Yeah, that's Khan. Easy, right? Just, just across the uh, couple of borders, Napoleon. Yeah, that's M Mao. So I guess the question is who comes next in the continuum? Huh? Not me, not Bush, N not McCain, not Palin. Huh? What? No, not me, but actually the answer is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> so for those of you that guessed Ronald McDonald, you win a prize. You win a free book, which I'll sign at the end of the session. I guess my question to you is, if you look at these five um, individuals, these five gentlemen, what do they have in common? Huh? They're male. You're going to have to work a little bit harder for your free book. Um, the answer is all five were delusional megalomaniacs that thought that they could rule the world and live forever. And so where we had entire generations, the Roman Empire, um, you know, the entire, the entire the, uh, uh, fleet or suite of Khan sweeping through Asia, here we have advertising. Here we have an industry or an empire that is 50 years young that believes it truly will rule the world and live forever. Global domination, right? The way we do business in 50 years' time will look exactly the way it does today, the way it looked 50 years ago. Does anybody in this room even remotely believe that our world, the way we do business, the way we build brands, the way we, r we run our professional lives will be exactly the same in 50 years as it was 50 years ago. Not one person. And if I had to say to you 25 years, anyone believe 25 years it will be exactly the same as it is today? 20? The question, of course, is what are you doing about it today? What changes are you making structurally, organizationally, strategically, culturally, how are you changing what you do? Do you have a plan? Do you have a business plan? Do you have a blueprint? Do you have a vision to change and rewrite the rules? Because if you don't, you may go the way that these five people went as well. This really is about change. 